Pat, what were the first signs of this that you noticed? What was the, the tip off to you that something wasn't operating right? Well, I just, uh, you know, I, I just felt something was different. And, uh, you know, I, at the time I didn't know what I was dealing with. And until I went to the Mayo Clinic, I, I couldn't be for sure, but I can remember, you know, you know, being trying to, to coach and, and trying to figure out schemes and whatever, and I just it just wasn't coming to me like I typically would say, oh, hey, we're going to do this, going to run that. I think it probably caused me to, you know, second guess. And I know when I was talking with Mickey, you know, and, and I just, she said, you, you know, what's, what's going on with you? And I said, I don't know. You know, I don't know. And so, you know, I was glad that we went to the Mayo Clinic because, you know, Dr. Peterson was great. They were all great. And at least I knew then, you know, what, what I was dealing with. You, we talked last summer, uh, as a friend, I was noticing something and I said, do you feel like you're forgetting things? And you said, I, I feel like I'm drawing blanks sometimes. What kind of things would you draw a blank about? Well, just for one thing, getting up and getting ready to go to the office and, you know, not sure what time I'm supposed to be there, you know. Um, and I think it was, you know, it, for me, I was, I was trying to figure it out. You know, and I, I think that's why that's why at times, you know, I'd, I'd stay here as opposed to going in early to work and, you know, just uh, just to be around the house and be in a, you know, safe place. Right. Um, Tyler, what did you notice? What did you see? Well, you know, she always had so much going on that um, it was just a little bit, there was just a, something different and whether it was asking the same question twice, you know, what time do, do I need to go to the office, things like that, um, losing her keys three times instead of just once, uh, <laughs> you know, things like that. Something was just a little, a little off, and we, we both noticed it. Yeah. yeah. Um, you told, you've told me that you feel like at least your mother now knows the opponent. Exactly. You know, it's, it's hard to fight an invisible opponent, and I think that now we know what we're up against. Um, and we're ready, we're ready to take the next chapter in our lives. Um, Pat, you know, you, you could have retired. Um, did you consider retiring? No. I just want to know what was going on, you know. Because, I mean, I could retire, but, you know, right now, you know, we're, we're trying to get this team where it needs to be, and, you know, you know we've got a veteran group, and, no, I'm looking forward to the season. I'm not going to let this keep me from coaching. That's for sure. Um, what do you hope your kids learn from your desire to keep coaching and to keep working? Well, you know, I'm going to be speaking to them here in, in the next few days. But um, you know, I think they'll I think they'll respond. You know, uh, if anything else, I think they'll rally and. Uh, you know, I, I think they need to understand what I've been dealing with and can't wait to, you know, meet them when they all get back in and sit down and tell them what I'm dealing with. And it's, it's not going to keep me from coaching. And if anything, it's going to inspire me more and to help them. You told me earlier you don't quit living. Right. Uh, are you going to tell your kids that? I don't know. You know me. I, <laughs> It's not like I'm going to go in there with a, you know, notebook. Here's what we're going to do. I'm just going to go in there and be myself and tell them what I've dealt with, and we're going to move on. And that's that's what I want them to do. I don't want to be. I don't. I don't there's no pity party, and I'll make sure of that. Um, can you talk about Tyler's role in first of all helping you confront it and helping you accept it and helping you decide what to do about it? Well, he's he's my rock. And, um, you know, it's just the two of us. And the rest of my family's, you know, in the Clarksville area. Um, so, you know, I want him, the one thing I want him to do is, you know, he has his own apartment now. And once, you know, this is all out in the open, I just want him to go have fun. 
Um, Ty, you've been telling me that your mom's actually cracked a couple of jokes about this. She has. <laughs> like, like what? Uh, she just, well, I forgot I've had anything wrong with me, you know, <laughs> <laughs> things like that. And, um, no, I think, you know, she's accepted it, and she's always um, been courageous enough to accept the truth and, you know, just, you know, crack jokes about herself, and she's so secure with herself, um, and it's real inspiring to me. Um, you were with your mom at the Mayo Clinic, and you actually were with her for um, some, if not all, of the testing, correct? Yes, <coughs> all of it. Yeah. Um, and you, you told me you, did, you don't feel the Mayo testing really was an accurate gauge of your mother. Well, nothing, nothing against you know the Mayo Clinic or whatever, but there's these tests that they do where mom's in there for about four hours, just one on one with somebody else that she doesn't know, and they start off with math questions, which and I was like, oh no, <laughs> which mom has never had to deal with math. I mean, you know, yeah. two plus two is about all she she'd have to do. There's ten people on the court. That's about it, you Didn't know. Didn't her sorority sisters do her homework? Oh, oh, definitely. Her, her sorority <laughs> sisters got. I had good help. College. I got. I had good help. So um, all I wanted to do is play ball. And you know, the the on paper it looks like one thing because that's the way you test, um, you know, for different things. And I don't think it's real accurate for mom because leadership's not one of the things they test for. You know, relationships with other people. It's not one of the things they test for. Basketball IQ definitely isn't in there. So there's a lot of things that they missed um, with mom when they did the testing. But when I talked to Dr. Peterson, he goes, I totally understand. <laughs> <laughs> he was awesome. Um, Ty, you know, have you been scared at all in this process? I think the scary part was not knowing what was going on. Um, that was the scariest part. But now that we do know what's going on, um, we see what we're up against and we're ready um, to take on the challenges.